Huawei has announced its new Pura range for this year in the form of the new Pura 80 series. Of course, all eyes are on the Pura 80 Ultra with this new 1-inch ultra lighting system technology. This is essentially a 1-inch image sensor. For those who don't know, a 1-inch image sensor is a pretty big deal. Phones up to now have had much smaller sensors compared to what you would find on, say, a professional camera. So this Pura 80 puts the smartphone up there with some really advanced cameras. There's also a new fancy switch lens system inside the Pura 80 Ultra that uses the same 1 inch image sensor across two lenses. So basically the phone will move the lens that you're using in front of the sensor when you need it and switch it back when you don't. You can actually hear this happening inside the phone in real time and it's pretty cool. Across the range, the Pura 80, Pura 80 Pro and Pura 80 Ultra have similar specs. The display span from 6.6 .6 inches up to 6.8 inches. They all have 120Hz panels with some fantastic brightness and vibrant HDR. Huawei has also put the same 5170mAh battery in all three models too. They support Huawei Fast Charge at up to 100 watts on the Ultra and 66 watts on the Pura 80 and Pura 80 Pro. Where the big difference comes in is with the camera technology. All three models come with the 50 megapixel 1 inch ultra lighting sensor, but the Ultra is the model that includes the impressive 9.4 times optical zoom thanks to the shifting camera lens system. I've spent the last few days with the Pura 80 series and I have to say it is quite a remarkable lineup of phones. The Pura 80 Pro on its own has a stunning camera with a very capable 1 inch HDR sensor that just takes the camera experience to an entire new level. The sensor produces incredible shots that are way above and beyond what we're used to seeing on mobile photography. But if you're here for the Pura 80 Ultra, it's just as awesome as you'd expect. In all honesty, I didn't think I needed this Pura 80 phone in my life until I used it. I tell you now, the moment I opened up the camera app and played around with the sensors, I couldn't help but wonder what possibilities were in store for this device. This is an insane camera system. The best part about this whole shift system is that it just works. You just change your zoom and the device switches the lens to another array. When taking photos, the phone makes a magical sound and that's it. It just does its thing and it just shifts the lens and it just works. When filming a video, it does it naturally without any sound. Granted, there is a bit of awkwardness when the shift happens, but this is expected. I wouldn't really shoot video while the shift is taking place because it would just look a bit strange. I took a few examples of the systems for you to see. Here you'll see the camera start out at ultra wide, it then goes to wide camera, 3.4 times zoom and then all the way to 10 times zoom. Even at 10 times zoom, these photos are insanely impressive for a smartphone. Yes, you can go even further to 100x zoom, but that does result in more noise and distortion. It is expected. I honestly don't know who even uses 100x zoom anyway. I can't see any practical use for it myself.
The Pura 80 Ultra also does an excellent job in video content. It films at 4K 60fps and you can choose log. The results are impressive. You can fully utilize all the camera systems and the shift lens mechanism at the same time. Here's a shot of some coffee being made. I did grade this footage because log is obviously ungraded. Although it doesn't work as well with Apple RAW format so the color might just be a bit off here. But still, on paper this is a beast of a camera system and I can't help but feel like I would actually maybe use this every day. Perhaps even shoot some YouTube videos using the phone itself. If it isn't the Ultra device specifically, even the Pura 80 Pro sensors can still hold up on its own. I have nothing but praise for the Huawei Pura 80 series. I didn't expect to be completely flawed by a camera system and I was. I will have a full review of the phone up in the coming weeks so stay tuned for more. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to see covered in the review let me know in the comments down below. Again huge thanks to Huawei for sending me all the way to Dubai to check out this incredible range of smartphones. It's been pretty epic. Until next time, farewell.